Hi guys. Today I'm going to talk about the spine. Um, I think it's really important to understand the function of the spine when you're doing yoga because it helps keep you safe. So first of all, there's three sections to the spine. There's the lower spine, which is called the lumbar area. And then there's the thoracic area, which is all the um, part of the spine that connects to the ribs. And then there's the cervical, which is the neck. Now each section, the vertebra are made in a specific shape for their function. And each section has its own function. So the lumbar area, the slower back area, it is meant to flex and extend back. That's all it's supposed to do. It's not really supposed to twist. All it wants to do is flex and extend. Then the thoracic part, the vertebra there, are made to twist. So that's where the twisting happens. So we have flexion down here and twisting in the midsection. So why is that important? Why that's important is because when we do twists in yoga, we want to keep this lumbar area here flat and then just twist through the rib cage. We don't want to be twisting our hips with it, which gets into the lumbar and twists the lumbar as well. It's not really made to do that. So we want to isolate the lumbar area so it stays neutral and then twist through the rib cage, all right? And there's a couple ways that you can do that. One, you can place your hand here on your lumbar and feel it when you're straight, hi yo-yo, and then twist. And if you go a little bit too much, you can feel this lumbar area change. And you might not be able to twist as far, and that's okay. Another way is to twist and pull back on the opposite hip. So you're moving your hips in the opposite direction of the twist. Sometimes that can help keep you in alignment. Now, there are people that say, go ahead and twist and let the hips move with you. And that's fine. I just want you to be aware of it. Especially if, like for me, the SI joint here, um, that's where the sacrum is. It's that triangle bone at the bottom of the spine. And then it connects to the hip. So that space in between the sacrum and the hip is called the sacroiliac joint. Um, ilia being the ilium um, bone. So when that gets set off center, twisting really irritates it. So it's really important for me to keep my hip stable and then just twist through the rib cage. So the other reason that's important, and you always hear this with shoveling snow, this is when you hear it, you want to lift first and then twist to dump it. If you lift and twist at the same time, and you can even just play with it right now, lift and twist at the same time, you can feel a lot of pressure in the lower back on that one side where you're twisting. And the reason for that is that there's these two square muscles in the lower back here that connect from the, the hip bone here, the ilium, all the way up to the top rib. And they're called um, quadratus laborum, quadratus, because they're square and laborum because they're in the lumbar. And they are made to flex and extend. And they're made to work together. But when you lift and twist at the same time, one of them takes all the weight and the other one's like, I'm trying to help you buddy, but I can't. And then boom, your lower back goes out. And we've all heard that story, right? And all of a sudden somebody goes, ah. <laughs> so lift and then twist. Don't lift and twist at the same time. So, um, and then the neck. Oh, the wonderful neck. The neck is really fancy. Its vertebra is made to not only flex and extend, but to twist. It's that super fancy vertebra. And the one thing I can say about the neck is in yoga, um, 
In yoga, you only want to turn your neck as far as comfortable as it is. You don't want to force it. Um, if your hands are out and somebody says to twist and look at the hand and that doesn't feel good on your neck, keep your head in line with your sternum. You could always keep your head in line with your sternum and that's going to make it safe. All right. And the neck, it's supposed to have this curve in it. Um, and when we spend our days on a computer like this, looking forward, if you can see, that takes the curve out of there. It puts a lot of strain on these muscles right here, the SCM. These muscles are supposed to go diagonal from the collarbones up to the um, crevice to the up to kind of where the neck and the ears kind of meet. Um, but it's supposed to be in a diagonal. But when you have got this forward head posture, it goes perpendicular to the earth and it, sh and it shortens. And then it's really tight and that can cause a lot of problems. So it's really important to keep that curvature in the neck. Um, and there's lots of ways to do that. But it's just, more important to know that when you realize you're doing this anytime during the day, bring it back up, roll your shoulders back. You can even bring your arms like this and squeeze your shoulder blades together. I know all the ladies watching right now are like, we're not supposed to do that. Go ahead and do it and squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's going to strengthen those muscles in the back, keep the shoulders back and help keep the neck in the alignment where it's supposed to be with the spine. So, all of that, just kind of plant that as little seeds in your mind. And I'll refer to some of it as I go through the hot yoga series poses. Um, so, but yeah, just keep the, the functions of the spine in mind as we do things. Honestly, in the hot yoga series, there's one twist at the end. And that's why I love this series so much. And I think it's so good for the back because I think it really opens up the spine and strengthens it first. And then it says, now you're ready for this twist and do this twist. Um, it's just a really healing practice. So thank you for watching. Um, I did not introduce myself at the beginning. I'm really bad about that. Um, I am Heather Cox. I'm with Yoga Nerd Studios. The next video will be about the first pose in the hot yoga practice which is actually a breathing exercise. I'm going to go through all of the poses and then I'm going to record the entire class for everybody to do all at once. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pay attention to your spine and I will see you next time.